I, I'm sympathetic to the different estimates being floated around. One, one that we sort of arrived at is a gap of about $1.6 billion. Uh, close to $2 billion. Do you have any new thoughts on new revenues or cuts that you would support? Uh, not at this time, no. Uh, as I mentioned uh, earlier uh, to Steve, I think, um, I'm going to get brief later uh, from Jerry McDaniel. Um, he's looked at some other possible reductions that would uh, not hurt education, not hurt health care for the poor, things that are uh, deeply important to me. There's some exemptions that I would encourage the legislature to look at too. I think that uh, you know there's one that relates to uh, automobiles when you uh, do a, have a trade-in. For some reason, and I don't know exactly when it happened, an exemption was carved out that, uh, in my conversations with Jerry, could mean as much as half a billion dollars in revenue we could use to help education. Why did you pick that? Exemption. I'm not proposing one. Um, I'm learning about the possibility of one from the, our budget director, Jerry McDaniel. So you don't necessarily support lifting that exemption, then? No, we're just reviewing it. Just reviewing it. Are there any that are likely? That you I don't know. Uh, that that's really up to the legislature. They have to actually put them on the table. So you're a billion dollars away after you take 500 million. I'm wondering how do you make up that one billion then? Well, probably through further reductions. And where would you be looking or suggesting? Mm, we're, we're looking everywhere, but we're not suggesting uh, anything in particular at this point in time yet. And then again, the the concern there is, is that if you if you don't recommend to these guys, are you ready to do your job? Last question. Hold on, no, no, hold on.